What is going on guys? We are back with another video and I apologize because I am sick, but videos must continue. One like equals one prayer. But we are five and four going against the two and seven Ravens, which were controlled by Texas Boy before. So that tells you that, uh, yeah, a lot of those losses are force losses. So going against the AI here on all Madden, whatever the sliders might be, could be a little challenging. But uh, we do take Tanner McAvoy off of Cookie Boy's uh, practice squad. Don't know why he was there at all, but going to be uh, on our team. Don't know if he's going to see the field much, but a 6'6", 24-year-old uh, wide receiver can never hurt. Uh, maybe we can put him at wide or at tight end. I don't know if that'll be allowed or not. What's the story? But you can see our team not looking too bad. Obviously trying to get our young players going. Uh, cornerback is going to be our number one issue to be solved in the draft. Not really a whole lot in this draft. And I don't know if you guys seen that, but uh, Jerry or Gary, he will be the new number two or middle linebacker. Not a huge fan of what Najee Harris was doing, which was pretty much nothing. Uh, so, going to have to keep an eye on him this game, see if uh, there's much of a difference. And you can see here, pass yards, was it allowed? Almost a thousand more than us. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's what's going to happen when you're getting force losses all the time because there's basically the game's telling you no chance to win. We're going to have to give you some way to lose, and we're going to let you uh, look bad in the pass game. Start of the first quarter, though. We are going to be on defense first and 10, and uh, we play some all right uh, coverage. Pass rush, as usual, non-existent, but the coverage, surprisingly, which is the complete opposite of the package in real life, very good, and uh, there it's going to be a short third down. We're going to be bringing the house here, hoping that we can make a stop and freed up. We are Clinton Dix with the hit. Now off of their three and out, we get a chance with the football. Ty Montgomery going to take the handoff. First play of the game, and he's breaking one free. It's going to break off of, I believe, Eric Weddle there, uh, and he's going to gain about 28 yards. Here is the offense. Offensive line, very good. Receiving talent and running talent also extremely good. This offense is primed to be one of the better in the league. We've just been struggling a little bit. Uh, Martellus Bennett has been catching a lot of passes. Not even a question there. He has been huge for us. First and 10 from the 33-yard line. No pressure at all. Rolling out to the right. Got room to run. But we also have another player wide open there. Devontae Adams, third and seven now from the 11-yard line. Going to throw this ball. And we have... Martell has been wide open underneath, but we go to Tanner McAvoy's first attempt on our team, and he cannot bring it down. Going for the field goal, and they're going to get the block, and they have a convoy. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one versus Brett Hundley, and he's very fast. He can bring him down, luckily. That was close. Obviously, we know in real life, Hundley is going to be the starter, so it would have been Callahan trying to chase him down, and that would have been a, been a touchdown. If that was real life, here on second and five, after the first down run, it's going to be picked off by Nicholson, who's actually gotten his, uh, gotten himself into position a lot. Very great pickup from free agency by us. Third and five, great catch over the middle by, I believe, Devontae Adams. It's hard to tell sometimes with these dark uniforms. First and ten, and it's going to be a first down. Can't see the numbers, like, at all, especially in this little screen. Speaking of screens, it's not really a screen, but Randall Cobb going to get a chance to run with the ball, and those end rounds are absolutely useless. The only thing that would really help is if someone thinks you're going to run another one and you decide to actually pass it. There, Randall Cobb getting open in the pass game, though, all the way down to the seven-yard line, first down and goal. Rodgers has a bit of time, going to take a shot to the left side, and Devontae Adams opens, opens up the scoreboard in the start of the second quarter with a touchdown of his own. And uh, we take the seven-point lead. Second and six up the middle. Starting to wear down on us a little bit. You know, their their first drive wasn't too hot. And I can't remember if that was their second drive or not. I'm sick. I can't remember anything. But they did get a first down there. And that's not good for us. First and ten. Going to break off of our tackle. I believe that's Kevin King. He really misses tackles a lot. But he's usually in pos uh, position, which sucks. And speaking of sucks... We dive at the line, and Danny Woodhead, he's going to take one in from 51 yards out, and just like that, it is all tied up. Those are the worst types of plays to give up. Here, Rodgers run out to the right side. Look at the dart, and he catches it off the tip. 
22-yard catch by Bennett. Look at this thing. Deflected and catches it off the tip and keeps his feet in bounds. What an amazing play by a guy that I'm loving a lot. And there, Devontae Adams gets free, goes for the aggressive catch last second. That's all right, though, because it's still a huge gain nonetheless. Third in 11, finding Cobb on the clutch play. Down to the six-yard line, second and goal play action. Rodgers rolling out to the right side, getting a little bit of time. Going to throw another dart. And Nate Sterling, the guy we just picked up from free agency this week, the backup tight end, the third string tight end, comes up with a huge play. And speaking of a huge play, Jerry or Gary coming up with a great one there on the blitz, gets up and swats it away. It's now third and five with about two minutes left in the second quarter. He's going to find him over the side, but it's a huge hit this time by Kevin King. He usually does lay the boom just like in real life. And after a great punt, we are at our own one. And Ripkowski gets hammered inside his own one. Second and nine. From that spot still. And there's a little bit of pressure. Taking a shot to Jordy. It's not going to come down. That's a very hard play to make. Third and nine now with 154 in the second. Picking up lots of blocks under pressure. Barely getting that thing off in time. And Devonta Adams is one yard short. Which will force us to punt the ball. Second and eight. Up by six. We missed the extra point earlier. And he's under pressure, and he's going to be taken down by Kenny Clark, who's having an amazing season, almost about, I think, six or seven sacks already from the inside, which is really impressive for a 3-4. Over the middle, gets a great catch, but also gets popped by Josh Jones, easily my favorite player on this defense. Uh, close second is McKinney, though. Third and one, another shot, and Devontae catches it and gets pushed out of bounds. Once again, should be going for the rack catch, but... I guess the safer, aggressive catch uh, is good enough. And here we're going to take a shot to Jordy. Not a great look. Eric Weddle on this difficulty just made one hell of a catch. You would not expect that to come down for an interception very often in Madden. But going against AI, they have that uh, they have that trick. And look at that. They get nothing done on, the first, uh, on their drive there. So it does go to halftime. And the first play out of halftime is not great for us. Getting sacked right into the play action. Second and 19, and the running back misses the block. We're going to have to throw that away. So the second half really not starting out the way we wanted it to. Third and 16 from the 21-yard line. We're going to try to get this. Coblix open, but we get baited by C.J. Mosley. Rogers going to have to chase him down, and he gets him down to the 7-yard line. Things have changed for the worse quickly. Second and goal from the 4-yard line. Usering with Clinton Dix, and look at the coverage here. Really not anywhere to go, but nobody's getting pressure. It's going to be taken down to the three, so they're still three yards away. Third and goal. What are they going to do here? Are they going to run the ball? Are they going to pass it? They are going to run it, and Kevin King coming up with the assist from Kenny Clark brings him down, which forces a field goal. First and 10 from the 26-yard line, halfway through the third, and the ground game just has not opened up at all since that very first run second and seven once again have the personnel just don't hold the blocks Devonte adams is not a great blocker in this game at all third and nine though got some time and as i say that nobody really breaks free and we're gonna get sacked by uh rashid hagman which is another punt forced by the ravens they're only down by three here a cut move i honestly don't know who that is on nicholson or josh jones Gets a first down. They're starting to break us open, and they could take the lead for the first time this game. First and 10. Kevin King, yet another miss on the play, and it leads to a first down. Kevin King, the way he comes up is impressive, but he just does not finish well. He's pretty much like a young Clay Matthews. Uh, obviously, he's a cornerback, so it's not as bad. And speaking of bad corners, Demarius Randall getting absolutely destroyed there by the old Mike Wallace which gives them their first lead of four for the game second and 11 over the middle Jordy Nelson the first play of the fourth quarter gets popped third and 11 now what are we going to do over the middle almost intercepted and by rule I think we can go for it here uh, but it doesn't look like a great decision and we're going to take a shot over the middle and Levine gets the pick we do contain, luckily, but down by four, eight minutes in the fourth. Their ball, this doesn't look good. First and ten from the 20-yard line, and we get a pop, and we recover. 
Oh, Kenny Clark isn't done yet. Doing a little bit of a BJ Raji uh, impression. Good recovery there. Huge hit by us with McKinney. Second and 10 running up the middle with Rodgers. Do not mean to dive forward, but he still inches away from getting the first down. A risky run call here, especially from our offense, and we get it with Ty Montgomery. Third and 10. Lots and lots of third down plays. Got to convert. This is a huge play with only five minutes left. Over the side of the field, who do we go to? The rookie free agent, Chris Hansen, catching all those child predators and those passes. Third and 10 now, back, stepping back and back, and we're going to get sacked. Nobody gets open, and it's going to be a punt. We run commit there. Luckily, I find the lane because if I didn't get the sack there, we probably would have lost the game there. And I'm not saying we won, but better chance now than we had a second ago. Third and 23. And who is that? Mike Daniels finally coming in for a play, which forces a short field for us. Rodgers stepping up on the run. What a throw for 28 yards to Randall Cobb. Clutch catch. Second and six. Looking for room. And Martellus Bennett with his second or third straight game with a touchdown. Comes down with a big one. Not really comes down, but he catches that one for the touchdown, which is a huge play. Early on, once again, you can see coverage doing well. Third and two, though. Going to be a screen call, and we have the coverage all over. He's going to throw it anyways, and we bring him down. It's going to be a fourth down that they will be going for. Fourth and four could be the game if they don't get this. And we're good coverage with Jerry, but not great. Once again, Demarius Randall supposed to be on our guy, and we had to cover him, and the inside gets open because of it. Josh Jones there, a user with pushing him in and somehow in the pocket delivers a throw and it's caught for a touchdown who else but Demarius Randall look at this by the way though Nick Perry still trying to pass rush inside when he just has to turn around and grab Flacco and then of course Demarius Randall getting beat with someone's nuts in his mouth physically inside of his mouth and with 58 seconds we have to pull a Rodgers and I'm not talking about breaking a collarbone we have to actually clutch this thing up Randall Cobb getting some room and he's gonna get a lot all the way down to about the 40 yard line off of one throw first and 10 down by four with about 50 seconds left Rodgers sitting finding Jordy Nelson open gonna call our first time out 30 some seconds left after a sack can we get some room and we get Jordy Nelson running down the sideline and he's gonna break tackles into the end zone Taking a three-point lead with 23 seconds left in the game. Not a whole lot of time left, but the Ravens do have a kicker that is amazing in the name of Justin Tucker. And right there, they get half of their yards needed. They just need another 20-ish yards, and they can attempt a field goal. First and 10 with one timeout left. If we stop him here, we might force him to a Hail Mary. And we miss the tackle. He's going to be taken down to the 34-yard line with three seconds left. We're going to try to ice them. And the Ravens kick the field goal. The clutch is real from both teams. Tying the game up. Going to overtime. And we do get the toss. And we do receive the ball. Second and two. Ty Montgomery getting some room inside. And then cutting it out. Finally breaking a little bit off in the ground game. About at midfield. First and ten. We're looking at Devontae Adams. And he gets pass interfered. And I have to roll out. Probably should have just thrown it away, but what is that? Let's take another look at this thing. Clearly past five yards and just blatantly illegally touched. Call it what you want. Holding, pass interference, illegal touching. Any of the, the three would work and nothing is called, which could have been honestly maybe even a touchdown. He was completely beat there. He was standing still. Devontae was ready to dust him. Second and nine. Ty Montgomery goes out of bounds, but that does not matter because it is third and eight need to come up with a clutch play can we do it there's the blitz and in the pocket tough jamal williams catches the ball on third and eight second and ten for the 31 yard line can we clutch it and what is this randall randall cobb aaron Rodgers just completely misses there i don't know what happened it is now third and ten though after a timeout from the 31 yard line we absolutely need to get this we're gonna take a shot to martellus bennett who comes down with the ball and comes down with the overtime victory 
giving Rodgers his second, technically first, overtime victory of his career. And just like that, we take down the AI Ravens, who we completely had their number in the first half. And as soon as Eric Weddle caught that sideline tiptoe pick, it was the Ravens game all the way. But luckily, we did enough in the first half, and we clutched it enough in the second half to win the game. Tons and tons of yards and touchdowns, but also lots of picks by Rodgers. But it was enough to win the game 33-27. to and uh, really just inconsistency from the ground game is really hurting us. Martellus Bennett had an amazing game, though. Two touchdowns with 102 yards. And more importantly, the third down clutch catch for a touchdown in overtime. I mean, I take that nine times out of ten. If I see one-on-one -on -one with Bennett, too big and too strong not to take a shot there. Honestly, the Ben don't break defense is the only reason why we won. They did really well and probably should have taken that game. Uh, but also shout out to Rainy Ravens is his Ravens. But also when I said I needed a prayer, he actually gave like a legit prayer in the DMs. So I appreciate him a ton. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys come back for next video, which it will not be the Steelers game because I'll explain it later. Uh, I was stupid. And uh, see ya.